What's up guys, CF4. Uh, the last video I made, other than my subscription entry, I know I told you guys I was only gonna be doing updates maybe like once a week or something, uh, just with all the random crap that I get, you know, members of the various groups, eBay, Amazon, or whatever. Um, this one I'm gonna do just purely for the fact that the the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is actually something that's super sweet. It's, it's very custom. A couple of you guys can probably guess, but before I get to that, I do have one that I want to dig into. It's actually from um, the same dude that sold me a couple of the last figures that I showed you guys. Um, the Freddy, the Ash, those kind of things. Um, I just keep buying from the guy. And, like I told him, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a sucker when he says there's something for sale. and I say, uh, I don't know, I mean, I'm spending way too much lately. It's still, I, I think about it for about five minutes and I say, eh, let's work something out. So... Oh wow, this thing is shipped real intense. Packed real intense. Oh, there's actually three of them in here. I forgot I picked one of them up. Whoops. Uh, uh, this is probably the most boring one. Um, this one again, I mean, tons of people have it. It's still a pretty cool figure. It's the, I think my first cult classics was my Flyboy, the second one. It's got the Freddy, you know, everybody's got them, but now I do too. I want to get into this guy after that. Uh, I mentioned before I wanted to get into some more Walking Dead stuff. I mean, it is my, my favorite TV show out here, so it's pretty cool. This is actually the, and it's actually in Spanish too, as Spanish as well as English. Uh, it's a, I think it's, what is it, 10 inches? 10 inches. 25 centimeters. Um, it's the Rick Grimes Vigilante Edition. This is far and away the biggest, biggest figure that I own right now. Um, like I said, it's it's got the little Vigilante Edition. There you go, in Spanish and everything. Um, oh, wow, that's cool. He's got a lot of shit with him. All those accessories in there. Some stuff floating down there, too. Little chain type deal. Looks like there's quite a few of them actually it's pretty awesome he was worried about how he was gonna uh, gonna gonna manage to ship this thing with how big it was and not have to spend a million dollars but he did a great job this is one I don't know if I've seen it on anybody's channel or in anybody's collection but I have I mean they are pretty readily available on eBay but this is I mean this is sweet as hell this is Special name of it. Uh, Hero Cross. It's a hybrid metal figuration. Uh, number 23. This is the alien. Uh, the box is sick as hell to begin with. Still sealed. Age is 15 plus. That's what that little guy looks like. And that's actually this is this is real cool. The side flap actually opens to the main flap. And there it is. Glares absolutely terrible on that but you kind of get the idea it's a xenomorph everybody's seen them but this one's definitely staying in the box uh, this one's going for like a hundred plus on ebay and he gave me a really good deal like i said he's trying to move a bunch of his figures and last but absolutely certainly not least i know people these are starting to arrive for people that ordered them um, I happen to live one state over, so I may have gotten mine earlier than a few other folks. Protected very well. Oh, there's a little, little card guy in here. Such personalization. got a thank you card it's kind of a spoiler so I'll I want to show you what it is first and this is this is absolutely gonna spoil it but I don't mind doing it because this is gonna be sick as hell uh, threw in one of his pins too I already have one but hey I guarantee there's somebody out there that doesn't that needs one six of a hundred that's awesome 
at this point, if you guys know Darren at all, follow him on Facebook, you know, follow him in either of the groups he's been getting into making some, uh, but he did, he did a few, I think it's a figure and a bust, um, dear lord, I'm getting a knife for this guy. So you guys know, I mean, I'm I'm pretty loyal to the traditional slashers, you know, Michael Myers, Freddy, Jason. So when I saw he was doing this, it looked sweet. I said, yeah, absolutely, I'll take one. You know, support his first endeavor on top of everything else because he's such a great dude. This is a lot freaking bigger than I thought it'd be, and this is sweet. Um, also, if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you know I'm super into the 8-bit thing. So I actually got a custom Jason Voorhees 8-bit mini bust. And he was taking, you know, pretty custom orders. He said, what do you guys want? And I said, I want the 8-bit, obviously, but I want it bloody as hell. And I remember seeing he put a picture up of three of them, and I was like, oh, shit, man. Like, one of those is just blood everywhere. The other two are just kind of spattered a little bit. I was like, man, I hope I get that one. Sure shit did. Um, that's awesome. And actually tonight he, uh, he's been kind of teasing it all day. He's going to start work on his, um, his next one that he's going to be putting out as well as he said, there's a, uh, every, everybody's seeing the, uh, everybody's pushing this month's Fright Crate, which he said there's going to be a surprise in there. He's actually hinted at it before. I don't want to ruin it, but I'm 99% sure what it is based on what he said before and what he's up to now. Uh, it's going to be sweet. Um, check out Darren. I'll definitely link him below, even though I'm sure anybody that's ever seen any of my stuff follows him. Um, thanks for hanging out, guys.